Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off another day, another adventure, another day, another country, yo, right now in Munich, in Germany, and uh, I can't wait for this adventure up ahead. I just found a BMW museum. Let's go check out the BMW museum. I met a friend last night, Vincent, say what up, man. What's up, man? What is up? What's going on? Where are you from? Introduce yourself to I'm, my peeps because they want to know who yeah. are you? I'm from Canada, Quebec and I've been traveling for like two months now and I'm biking across Europe like like 2,000 kilometers right now I think <laughs> This guy is like biking across Europe, yo Five countries Oh yeah, and it's, it's not finished now I need more, one more month I think <laughs> That is insane, you're biking across Europe that must be a lot of fun. But you're doing it in the winter time, which is intense, yo. Yeah. What about why didn't you do this in the summer? <laughs> and actually, I'm camping too, so yeah, I'm crazy. This guy's camping. I don't know. He's actually inspiring me to try some something else. I, I, I was thinking about that. What if but I? It's so fun because like you're so free when you're camping. You don't need to like to go to this place. You just bike and you stop there and you put your tent. You don't have to check in. You don't have to check out. You no, just you don't. You, you don't say, pay for it. You say, okay, I'm gonna go camp here, and then you just freaking camp, and it's all, it's all good. Yeah, that's it's all chill. Yeah, super cool. But yo, let's uh, get ready to head over to this, um, this BMW museum, check it out, and uh, yeah, let's get this video started. Wow, look at this place, yo. Of course, BMW owns Rolls Royce. Uh, wasn't Rolls Royce British? Rolls Royce British? That's a nice one. Yeah. I want to look at the SUV. <laughs> look at, Can you imagine driving that? Look at those doors, man. That is sick. <laughs> oh, it's um, it's the other side. It's the drivers on the other side. I guess it's from the UK then. Wow, so this is like a three-wheel car. No, there's two more wheels in the back. Don't they have these in Dubai? That's some cop car, huh? Police. <laughs> it's fast enough to catch them. Yeah. I think this one looks better. <laughs> what is this? It just looks like a piece of gold, right? I don't get it. Check out this car from up above, man. I don't, I don't exactly get it, but look at that windshield. What a beautiful ride. I don't think that's going to be on the road anytime soon. So check out this electric car. This is one I've never seen in the U.S. before. This looks pretty cool. Just looks like, a, you know, a typical Beamer. Yes, yes, yes. Beamer. <laughs> Who says Beamer anymore? Weird. This one does not have fast charging. Huh. Fast charging, you have that other thing down here. This is a plug-in hybrid. This looks like all the batteries here. Lots of batteries. And there's like an electric motor here. And then this is like a half gasoline motor. Because this is definitely not an electric motor. Because there's too much going on here for this to be 100% electric. All these belts and stuff. Mini time. Of course, BMW, you know, makes Mini Cooper too. Oh, check that out. That's, that's, a, old one. that's a classic. This should be in the museum, right? This look like straight up coming from Mexico or something. It does, man. South America all day. <laughs> Anyone need any mini accessories? T-shirts, hats, a mini bag, a mini anything. <laughs> mini umbrella. <laughs> what about this mini car thing? <laughs> what is this mini keychain? That's actually pretty creative for 10 euro. I'm, I'm cool on that. Look at that mini umbrella. How about a mini watch? Mini glasses, a mini thumb drive. Is that 32 gigabyte thumb drive? And it's for 32 euro. Oh, that's like crazy expensive actually. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Now there's two museums here. There is the, the new museum, the showroom floor here that we're, that we're here, the, this place where all the new cars are here. And then I guess we go outside and we go to this building over here and there is the, the, the older BMWs which is uh, 
which would be pretty cool to check out. We're gonna head over there just in just a second. And um, this area is free. The other area is 10 euros. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see some, some old classic Beamers. You ready to go check out some old Beamers? Of course, let's go. I'm trying to figure out what is this area. It looks like cars drive over there. Maybe like drifting demonstration or something. Drifting demonstration. Like they, they go around it. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. But you can see it's like for car, of course. Yeah, it's def. I mean, it's big enough to to hold cars. All right, let's go to the old museum. Let's go. Let's go check out the classics, yo. Looks like we got some electric car charging here, and I'm trying to figure out are these solar panels? Whatever it is, it looks pretty dang cool. That's the way to go. That, that's the way to go, right there, yo. What do we do, like scan it here? Oh, uh, that works. Wow, check out those cars. Let's so check this out. This is a little demonstration of um, the different metals that are used in cars. Here is metal, of course, your traditional metal. And man, that is heavy. Here is aluminum. It's much, much lighter than the metal. But here we have carbon fiber, and oh my gosh, that is so much, so much lighter than the aluminum and so much lighter than the metal. Like this is, it's incredible. And it looks like they, they, they build a lot of this out of carbon fiber. Like he's holding the door frame there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This car has some very unusual tires. And check out this 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 door. Like you can see into the car. Like just that's the bottom of the car. That is pretty cool. I, I take it these are the batteries that are underneath this car. Those are quite a bit of batteries. That's how you. That's an old car. That's how you power that. I think a, a lot of electric cars are like this. They're that big. Well, this is probably more than just batteries. It's probably something else in there. So here's that carbon fiber in action here. It actually sounds like metal. This is the BMW um, i3. And once again, there's all the, the batteries underneath. This one is lifted, of course. Wow, look how cool that looks. It's like all carbon fiber, yo. It's all smaller, are they the wheels? Oh yeah, use less energy, smaller wheels. She got the front. Oh, it even has a radiator. Well, I mean, I, I would, I, I would guess it would have a radiator, but it, I wouldn't imagine things get too hot under there. Stick the side panel here. Wow, this like feels like metal, yo. It doesn't, but like it's strong, like crazy strong. And this is the body weight comparison here, 100% for steel. So if you use aluminum, you can make it 70% lighter, but if you use carbon fiber, you can make it 50% lighter. Carbon fiber is the way to go. Check out that small engine here. Very, very small. You don't need no V12, you don't need no V8, you don't need no V6. Who even wants a four cylinder anymore? You just need one of these bad boys. That's a small engine. Very efficient, especially with all that carbon fiber. Like some race cars over here, right? <laughs> Hydrogen fuel cell. Oh, this is one that uh, is not very popular. Definitely got some little mirrors. And a Nas tank in the back. That might not be a Nas tank. That is that a Nas tank in the back? That might not be a Nas tank. That might be something else. Dang, look at this front part. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Could that be like? What, would the heat like fly up and hit the windshield like on a, on a cold day? I mean, obviously, probably not because it's made by BMW. So I was just trying to figure that one out. This is um, how they make the inside parts of cars. It's made out of this fabric. And it's all woven together. That's a, one color and then they usually paint it to match the inside of a car. Then over here, this is like the leathers interiors and all that we're not gonna really talk about the leather as much and then over here is like all the wood grain so it looks like they you know just take wood from trees and they grind it up and then they make beautiful car interiors like this like all the wood inside the car 
pretty cool. And then over here, of course, this is recycled plastic. And with recycled plastic, you can make all sorts of things like fabrics inside the car. If you don't want um, leather seats, you can make fabric out of plastic. I really like this style of seat. This looks really, really cool. And it's made from plastic. It's made from recycled materials, which is pretty nice. This is more of the plastics and the fabrics here. Super cool. This is so true. There is plenty of plastic on beaches all around the world. And we can take that plastic, recycle that plastic, you know, grind it up into little shreds of plastic like this. And then later it looks like this. And then later you can make something like a seat. Now, one thing I noticed about this museum, they are pushing electric cars like crazy here. Like everywhere you go, it's like electric this, electric that, electric this. I'm not just showing you guys electric cars because I'm just a huge fan of electric cars. I'm showing you electric cars because, man, it's a big thing here. Like it's a big thing. Like, oh, this is the fast charger. Yeah, fast charger. <laughs> I, I kind of miss driving a little bit now since I, I'm here and I'm around like charging and all that. German, look at this. Oh, Quebec is like behind. Oh wow, that's a lot of places in North America where there's yeah, charge but locations. In Canada, except here in the west, but in the east, like that's America probably. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, Canada's like they're probably none in Canada. <laughs> it's very few in Canada. But you know, this is this is probably just the BMW charge now. Yeah. And there's so many different charge um companies and charge programs yeah but yeah in canada bmw is not popular so maybe there's not a lot of charge there's a lot in south america Ooh, south africa is on the map here uh, what are these little islands they got bmw charge now <laughs> there must be some wealthy little islands this is near angolia one of the most expensive countries in the world to travel to right now this should be nibia here really yeah angola is like n crazy expensive yo no, I'm not going to Angola because Angola, you need a special visa. <laughs> really? Oh. Well, which you can get one, but I'm not going to go because it's crazy expensive. And then, of course, there's Asia on the map. This really got me scratching my head here. Somalia? Is that Somalia there? Like BMW charging in Somalia? Huh. Question mark? Look at this one over here. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. What happened to the doors, yo? And that's all carbon fiber, too. That is sick. Look at that big bucket seat. Almost looks like uh, an office chair or something. It looks pretty comfortable to ride in. Is that seat even adjustable? It doesn't look so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You cannot, like, bring it more. In the front. No, you can't put a child car seat in that one, either. But this is what I was um, looking at. What, what is this? I don't think this is a car. I think this is like a something that you you a park bench or something. No, I think it's uh, it's go on water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know what it does. It don't look like it drives down the road or it, not the roads that I'm used to driving down. There's even books in the back. Look at those seats. I don't think this is a car. I think this is like. No, there's weed. <laughs> oh, it's, there's weed. <laughs> I think this is like. What, you, you put this in your living room and you hang out there and watch movies or something? Like, <laughs> what's up with these wheels? <laughs> What a cool thing. Is that a TV back there? TV plasma in the car. Yeah, oh man, look at the tail lights. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Is this a car? Is this like something else? <laughs> it's something you put in your garden, I think. Yeah, it's something you put in your garden. When you're not driving your BMW, you hang out in this. Mm -hmm. Check these out. They got some colors on this car, I tell you. <laughs> that thing looks like it can fly. Oh man, we gotta figure out how to get down here. How do you get there? Look at this. It, this looks really, really weird. Check that out. Alright, I can't stare at that too long. So I guess this, this whole museum is in three parts. There's like the brand new part, the part, the first part we went to. And then we just went to the electric part. Well, I guess not the electric part. It's more of um, this temporary showing. And then this here area that we, we just arrived in, this is the... History part. Yeah, this is the history part. So this is all the old stuff. And yeah, what I mean by old stuff, I'm talking about 
on bikes like that. They don't make beamers like that anymore. Or I don't know. Should I even say beamer? Is that like not a thing to say, or is that like super California? Or I don't know. Beamer, beamer, BMW. Next, oh, that definitely looks like an airplane engine. Is that a big wooden propeller? Scary wooden propeller. Good thing we don't use wooden propellers nowadays. Check out that bike. Oh, heavy door. Oh wow. The bottom level. All right, now it's 1977. They're getting newer and more modern. 1983, and then let's fast forward to 1993. Look at that one. Okay, 1999. Now, you probably still see some of these on the roads. Well, 1998, not 1999, my mistake. You probably still see a few of these on the road randomly. And then they just get better and better and uh until until they came up with this one now i, I see a couple of these in the uk but I, I don't remember seeing any of these in the us um this one has like a seat belt on the motorcycle so technically you don't have to wear a helmet if you're on this motorcycle i guess it would still be a good idea to wear a helmet but it's it's pretty protected um there's like these bars here to protect you if you fall and then i, I guess it also has a seat belt i think it's really weird to have a seat belt on a motorcycle because it's it's it, 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 it it's a it's a motorcycle you know like a seat belt on a motorcycle think about it a seat belt on a motorcycle <laughs> bmw did it so it's the cool thing to do yo <laughs> Seatbelt on a motorcycle. Why do I get a kick out of this so much? Awesome. Check out it even had that top hatch area opens if you can tell. You see it opens. Like why would that open? What would it open for? For like, airflow? I think you got plenty of air coming in, right? But, but that's a scooter. How, how fast can it be? Like it also has a windshield wiper. Oh gosh. <laughs> Only from BMW. Oh wow. This looks pretty futuristic. Oh, you wanna watch a movie? <laughs> what a beautiful building. <coughs> Was that that same car that chick got picked up in last night? It doesn't look like it opens like that. This is the concept car. I love these windows along the bottom here. It's so cool. It's a clay car. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot. Wow, man, she was awesome. She gave us like tons of information about this, all of this stuff. That Ch was like, I've never seen something like that in the museum before. Cool, man. Oh, here we go. We got this, this side here. Putting your dog in one of those things and just cruising down the street. Or the wife and kids, you know. Oh. This here is all the labels from all the BMWs. Starting off at 2010, 2090, so on. All the ones. So many. So many BMWs. Oh, and look at this showroom floor. This is the 3 Series. She said they produced over 50 million 3 Series. Is that what she said? Yeah. Over the life of the car? Look at that one. Over four years, like. Look at these. They're definitely in tip-top shape. I remember this one a lot, 1996. That was a popular model. We still see those sometimes. Oh, those? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see quite a few of those on the road. I guess this was the first one. The introduction. Stacking them up. Or is this like the 5 Series or something? 7 Series. I guess we can call this a little bucket. <laughs> 3 Series, 5 Series, 6 Series, 7. 
M-Series. This is the M-Series here. Oh my gosh, they're just gonna keep us here all day, right? Like every, every corner is like something completely new. Yeah, we've been here for hours. Remember those when those came out? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we have literally been here for hours. What time do we get here? Like one o'clock? It's like five now. Are you sure? Yeah, it's like five. <laughs> It's totally cool. And there's so much stuff to see here. It's so much stuff to see. More than I, I thought. We got these engines. Yeah, we're not even reading the stuff. No, we're not. We, we, could, we could spend a lot longer here. <laughs> Look at that. You empower, yo. Vroom. Really cool looking cards. Can you guys tell from the camera? Oh, yeah, you can. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of myself back in the US sometimes. Oh, oh, oh. Some cars driving. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah, I know, they got some good post good postcards here. Other feet. <laughs> cool. These are what, airplane engines or something like that? Is this the door? Is it time to go? All right. Bye bye BMW Museum. It was a lot of fun. See you next time. Ooh, I can feel the difference out here. <laughs> Welcome to Germany. That building looks sick, yo. Yeah, uh, this is. Uh, you think you said they built this for the Olympics? Yeah. I've noticed a lot of buildings like this here. You know, with the glass on top, and you can still see through. It must rain a lot here or something. You need to go there where there's people. Oh, yeah, over there. Okay, we just made it on top of whatever hill this is. I really did not want to come up here because I'm super tired and crazy hungry. But you know, it is pretty nice to see everything from up above. And uh, right now, I am ready to go. Okay, so this is the BMW factory on the outside. This place is huge. A lot of your BMWs come from here.